Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself Bateson87. As you know, each week I am doing a cheap squad builder for people to get their hands on and find some cheap beasts out there for you to get your uh, get your teeth into really. And I have found some absolutely decent players. I did put a tweet out uh, later on last week um, just to find out what players people use on a budget and these two strikers I mind the team itself is absolutely deadly and for 20k with position movements and also uh, chemistry styles applied to them it's a good team to use and I went unbeaten in I think it was 9 or 10 games on, uh, on boxing day with it so definitely going to bring it out to you so you guys can get your hands on it and uh, have a play around as well, not break the banks. That is the aim of it. Also, if you lot want any Ultimate Team coins, go and check out FIFAcoinStash.com. Their link can be found down below in the description. And if you want me to up the budget a little bit, to say 50k or 100k, let me know in the comment section below what sort of teams you want to see next week. Um, do you want another 20k team? Do you want a 50k team, 100k team? You name it and I'll do it. And if we can try and smash over 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely insane. So let's get on and build this very cheap team so in net we have uh, Mandanda from Marseille you can pick him up for around discard value um, he is the Marseille French goalkeeper and we did need him to get a link a very strong link with our man in the centre back position who we did get and he's not really that used I thought he would be overused this year but I haven't really seen him in many teams and it is uh, our man Unkalulu, uh, Unkalu, sorry Unkalu, I don't know why I say that, um, he is 77 pace and 82 defending, they're the stats you mainly look at and he is an absolute beast on corners, this team itself is so strong and so tall it causes uh, a lot of damage all over the pitch which is what you want it to do mainly, moving on to the right back position and we've gone with a non-rare, but even though he's non-rare, he's worth around a thousand coins, and it is Mariano. Last year he was four-star skills, I do believe. Uh, this year he's been dropped down to three, but he still has his pace, still has his defending, and uh, his uh, passing attributes as well. So not not bad for the attacking role which you may give him. Moving on to the left centre back, and we have gone with Pepe from Real Madrid uh, with a sentinel card, and uh, obviously with his nice-looking afro. Even though he doesn't have an afro in the game, GG EA. Moving on to the left back we stuck with the Portuguese link up and the Real Madrid so he gets a super link it is Fabio Coentrao really cheap considering he plays for Real Madrid you can get him up for around discard as well it's uh, pretty crazy to be honest that you can pick these type of players up for around discard price um, Pepe is on a cost you between 1 and 2k depending if you get him on a bid or a bin moving on to the centre defensive midfielder and this is Jean Moutinho obviously he has got an inform out but we're trying to keep it cheap and um, he comes with an engine trait on him when you do pack him so when you go to buy him off the market he will most of them will have an engine trait on around um, 1,000 coins anyway. Moving on to the right hand side and uh, this guy is also um, plays for Monaco and is Colombian and that will start off our way to getting this team done and he uh, is pretty good. He can get him up for around discard. Obviously he comes as a right winger. Move him down to right mid and that's where he does his damage. Four star skills as well. The remaining people put into the team do have four star skills so you can have a little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, a piss take when you are winning by a lot of goals. Moving on to the left midfielder, this guy is Portuguese and I think he is a non-rare, which he is. It is Varela. Um, I liked him last year and I wanted to try him out this year and he is just as good. Quite tall, 84 pace, 74, 75 shooting, 82 dribbling, 4 star skills as well. And we put an artist chemistry card on him. Moving on to the cam position, this guy... It's quite underused, um, but if you look at his stats, uh, if you go and have a look on footed at his stats and uh, everything else, he's got four star skills. It's mainly because he's in a bit of a crap league. He has everything, uh, most stats between 70 and 80 anyway, and uh, he's only 78 rated, and it is none other than Quintero. Quintero. Now, there was another person called Quintero last year who I thought this guy was, but he wasn't, and he has uh, four star skills also 71 shooting, 74 passing, 84 dribbling, 75 pace pretty good for a cam and uh, he was getting in some deadly positions as well now moving on to finish the rest of this team and these are the two players which make this team so fucking effective uh, from corners from from uh, headers from shooting from skills from strength it is these two uh, on the left hand side we are going to put um, I think both of them are non-rare as well actually 
Actually, one of them's rare, one of them's non-rare. So let's go to the non, the non-rare one first. After we've gone through all these uh, pretty crap uh, strikers, anyway, apart from this guy, it is Edda. Now I've played against Edda a few times this year, and I got my absolutely ass handed to me every time. Lucas. Um, he just rips shit up as a solo striker. I know Finch uses him as well. Everyone seems to absolutely trust this guy. So I thought I'd give him a run out. And he was the most fun striker to use. Um, and he's only 79 rated. And you can get him. You can get both of them for around 1,600 coins together. Uh, 84 pace, 72 shooting. 80 dribbling, 79 heading. So an absolute awesome, awesome card. And we have put a Hunter chemistry style on him as well. Now moving on to finish this team off. As you will have guessed already. It is another four star skiller it is also playing in the um league of portuguese and he is jackson martinez now this guy was a beast last year and he yet again is exactly the same this year two absolute monsters up front 82 pace 75 shooting 78 dribbling and 86 heading with four star skills as well absolutely uh, deadly duo now, if you guys do actually build this team, let me know. Or if you use these, these players in different um, different teams, i.e. Edda and Jackson Martinez, let me know what teams you do try them in to make it a lot more solid. But do remember, we have kept this team at its minimum, uh, price-wise anyway, just so people can enjoy it and try out these uh, not not overly used beasts. I have seen Edda a few times. Uh, but Jackson Martinez seems to get overlooked, and I don't know why that is. So there you have it, guys. That is my cheap 20k team built this week. What I'm going to do now is show you some highlights we did get with the team and talk about each player individually. So I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to smack that like button as well. So guys, a few people have used this team uh, from Twitter and they said it's absolutely immense, especially the two strikers solo by themselves. With Conterbo behind them as well, he was absolutely brilliant. For a 78 rate, he did a lot more stuff than I did expect. Um, especially with the skill stick as well. All I think there's five players in this team which have got four-star skills. A lot of fun to use. Jackson Martinez and Edda were fucking animals. If you guys do use these players, let me know in the comment section below what you think of them. Even if you go off and build a team, just come back to the video and let me know what you did think of him, whether you liked him or whether you didn't. With Rodriguez and Varela as well, very dangerous uh, attacking-minded uh, right mid and left mid. Uh, Varela's a bit tall as well, but he did uh, manage to cause a lot of disruption in the box. Rodriguez, I use more of an assister rather than uh, a sh uh, like shooting and uh, getting into the final third. But passing and moving with this team was ridiculous. Look at let's look, look at all all my players up there waiting there, uh, which can leave you a bit prone at counter attacks. But with Jean Moutinho sat there, very defensive minded player, uh, did quite well. With Pepe, he is the most annoying defender to play against, but the most fun one to have in your team because he annoys the fuck out of everyone else as well. With Marino, low, I think he's the lowest rated player in the in the team. Uh, he was solid, uh, very cheap, very solid. Uh, with the goalkeeper, quite small. But did the job I want him to do. With Unkalu, he was very dangerous, very fast in, uh, and very uh, good on corners because of his height. Uh, Cotton Trout was also solid. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button to try and get it over 2,000 likes. Subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. Until next time, guys, see you all later. Thanks again.